right my soap ui has opened so let us just review the steps which we learnt with soap ui yesterday so i'm going to first start with the creation of a workspace so to do that i'll go to file new workspace i'm going to give this workspace a name called as day 3 and i'm going to save it right so now my workspace which is a initial empty workspace is created workspace is nothing but it is the master file inside which the details of all my projects are going to be present and i'm going to create a new project under this workspace like i mentioned yesterday for creating a new project you definitely need the url of the visdel file of the web service that you're trying to test usually the visdel file url is given to you from the development team without that visdel file url testing a soap based web service is very very difficult so let us go and get the visdel file url so i am just thinking of using the currency converter example which we tried out yesterday okay so this is a simple currency converter web service which will take two um, country names as code and gives give you the currency conversion rate of those two countries i am copying this url now i come to soap ui i create a new soap ui project by clicking on file new soap ui project and here i just paste the visdel url and it names my project depending upon the name of the web service that is given in the url itself so if i want to create a test suite for this particular web service i can either select the create test suite option here or i can do it later after we did after we go and create the project alone so right now i'm just giving okay it is creating the project interface right so now the web service interface for testing is created here now i want to create a test suite for this uh okay i have a question here someone says hi can you share any test visdel files yes i will be sharing this visdel file urls with you it will be added into the notepad that you will be getting you will be getting the recorded links for day 1 and 2 along with the notepad which will contain the uh, example urls that i have used you will be receiving them for day 1 and 2 shortly you will be receiving them by today or maximum by monday uh, for uh, from today the recorded session will reach only to people who ha who have made the payment okay yes so now let me just right click on this particular uh, test uh, request that is created by soap ui and then to create a test suit i just say generate test suit here i just leave with the default as of now i say okay and i can give my test suit a name so i'm just going to say currency service test suit okay so i'm just going to say okay okay so my test suit is ready my test suit has one test case which you can see here my test suit has only one test case which says get conversion rate test case right this is my test case i can add description to my test suit by clicking on this description part this is a new thing which we are learning today so you can create description to your test suit by clicking on the description button down here so you can create a description like to test the conversion rate web service right so i can close it now and 
to add description to a test case you just select the test case from here that is if you click on it it will automatically be selected just double click on it and it opens up the test case window I'm repeating it again just double click on the test case that you see here it will open up the test case window uh, this is very specific to that test case under that test suit so now I'm going to add a description to this test suit you can consider this as set of steps in sample inputs anything any description okay step one enter from currency example USD step 2 enter to currency example INR step 3 submit request step 4 expected result conversion rate example 54.36 which is the rate today so I have added description here so you can add description to your test suit uh, telling what are the web services that this particular test suit covers okay and in the test case level also you can add description telling what are the inputs that this particular web service takes and what is the output you can expect from it this description is a very good documentation effort that you get as a part of SOAP UI itself so right now we have started with one thing we have started with the creating of description at test suit level and at test case level right okay so now we have descriptions created at test suit level at test case level so to run the test case I need not go to the test case and uh, I need not go to the test case and I need not go to uh, the te uh, test request again I can just double click it here and I'll get the test case window and the SOAP request that corresponds to this, to this test case is present here. Let me double click it. Initially the inputs to the SOAP request will be empty. It will be filled with question mark. I can use this test description I have written down here to actually give inputs to my sample SOAP request. So I am going to come here. I am going to give the inputs so it says USD and INR okay and I close this test case box for now I have just filled the inputs and I am closing the test case box for now and I am closing the test case box here also now to run the test case I need not open the test case it is enough if I click on the run button in the test suit level it will run all the test cases which are a part of this test suit so let me just click on run let us see if we get the output here if you click run on the test case level you will only see a green bar uh, appearing this white bar will turn into a green bar indicating that the test case has run successfully if it has not run successfully it will be a red bar after the execution so if you want to see the response you have to double click on this bar and you will be taken to the SOAP response okay so now I'm going to run the test suit I'm just coming here you see the run button I just click on that and you see here the test case has set, uh, reached the finished status with a green bar appearing here which means that for the sent SOAP request a correct response was obtained so to see the response you double click here and you will see the test case window opening now double click on the SOAP request here you will see that this request of USD and INR has fetched us the result 54.83 okay I'm getting some question 
uh, what is a workspace okay i'm repeating it again a workspace is nothing but it is a master file which will contain details of your projects and the test cases inside those projects a single workspace can contain a single workspace can contain one or more uh, projects. Uh, similarly, a project can contain many test cases. Okay, so that is about workspace. Uh, with respect to SOAP UI, a workspace is a simple XML file. Okay, so after submitting the currency converter request, I'm getting the following error http 500 internal server error uh, that is not a problem with your test it is a problem with the um, a web a web service that is uh, published uh, i think uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, service is up and running you can use this url if you want i can project this url on my notepad just have a try let me just project that url for you Uh, for those of you who are trying, you can use this URL. Just give it a try. Okay. Uh, someone says, if you don't mind, can you please show this one more time? I'll definitely repeat it again. Uh, after submitting, I have uh, answered that. Do you... Do you share manual test case for web service? We don't write one. That is the problem. We don't write a manual test case for web service because you cannot write the telebrate since there is no UI. Right? So, okay. I think I've answered pretty much every question. So, let me just repeat it quickly once and then let me just go ahead. So, I'll just do it once again uh, for... Uh, the people who asked for it, some of them are getting angry because I'm repeating it again. Uh, can't help it. I have to uh, be equal uh, to all participants. So the uh, first we created a workspace by going to file, new workspace. A workspace is the master file which will have details of all your project that you are creating under that workspace. So you create, you click on new workspace. It will ask you to give a name. You give a name and it creates that workspace for you. And then uh, under that workspace, you create a new SOAP UI project. By clicking on new SOAP UI project, it will ask for the WSDL file URL. Once you give WSDL file URL and tell OK, you will get the web service testing um, interface with the SOAP request that apply to that particular web service. And to create a test suit on that web service, you right click on this uh, SOAP request that is created by SOAP UI and say generate test suit. So you just leave with the default options and say OK. You will get a test suit with the test steps for the operations inside that WSDL URL. Right now my WSDL URL has only one operation that is get conversion rate. So if I double click on this test suit, it opens up the test suit window showing the test case under that particular test suit as a bar here and uh, and then you see that if you want to see the test case in particular you double click on this bar and it will open the test case window with the soap request sample inside it so when you double click on the soap request sample initially it will be filled with question mark because only a empty soap request will be created then you can fill it with valid inputs and you can close the test case window to run the test case come to the test suit just click on this run button you will get a green line indicating that the test case has completed now if you double click on this test case your test case window will appear there if you double click on the soap request you will see the request that was sent with your inputs 